<laughs> How are you? Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, right. You got a nice smile on your face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, as soon as I found out that you were signing your new contract, I was like, I've got to do the interview. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you feeling on signing your contract? Uh, relieved. Huge amount of pride. It's something, obviously, you work for. Don't matter if you've been at the club for a month or four years. Like You always want to get the next one and push on with, with the team. And, you know, to get it after two years, yeah, buzzing and just means I can concentrate and keep my head down. Hopefully, come a few more years, I'll get another one and just carry on, you know, living the dream at the, at the football club, really. You've got 13 years to be. Yeah, I know. I've still <laughs> I got, bet you do as well. <laughs> I've got a long time to, to try and catch up, but yeah. um, technically, I've still got probably another minimum 15. Two months. Minimum 10 years <laughs> left. It's here, it's here. Right. Well, what about when you, when you first signed here? Because there was a lot of talk about it, weren't there? You know, that was a, a really proud day and I was probably more proud on that day than I am today because it's... Um, see, I've just seen your dad with his tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we've got a, we got a, you know, a tendency to get our tongues out. Um, <laughs> there'll be pictures of me in goal with my tongue out yeah. concentrating, but um, <laughs> to get picked to come and sign for Arsenal as a club is probably a bigger achievement than showing what I can do for the past two years and getting a new new contract but as long as we keep progressing the way we have and players like myself can keep progressing I think we've got a we got a good chance. There was a little bit of negativity about it weren't it because you came as like as what everybody else thought was a, as a number two. Yeah deep down I knew that there was a lot of negativity around I also knew that no one's probably actually watched me other than three or four games which I played against Arsenal in. I was just ready to, to get on with it. I was really ready to to just show what I can I can do and it was a great fight between me and Burn last year and that's what you need as keepers, you need the competition and But I had I had the same. Yeah. And and I and I put it I mean, I did an article, didn't I? And you saw yeah, it. Yeah, we spoke about and it, yeah. And you said that, you know, it's it was one of those things where when I first signed everybody loved John Lukey mm. and they all wanted him instead of me. And and I was just thinking like, well just give me a chance. It was very yeah, it was very similar and um, and that was the thing though, when, we, when I played my debut against West Brom, um, all that sort of negativity went away because the fans knew to give me the chance and to give me the back in which well, it's el it helps I when needed. You make like that on your, dog, yeah. when you debuted. <laughs> um, yeah, the fans that night were amazing for me, sang, sang my name and you know, I was ready to then just kick on. But as soon as you actually put that Arsenal shirt on, they'll give you every, every bit of a chance to, to try and perform. And, I knew I could win him over at some point and um, thankfully I did that quite early really. We've got some saves here mm -hmm. that I've had a look at yeah. um, and I want, I want to talk through them with you okay. just to get your, your frame of mind. I remember this one, this was yeah. Tottenham at home. That, that was like the, what, the last three minutes of extra time as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and to make that is just... Yeah, that was a, I think we were 3-1 at that point. We are playing really well gets a little nick, which makes it even better, yeah. really. So I get sort of have to change body position, change hand. It's always oh, nice when it comes off the bar that. as well. And then this one. This yeah. is this is special. <laughs> this is proper. But the, the rebound, right? If he puts that rebound in, nobody remembers that save. Nope. That's an amazing save, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of my favourites. To be fair, well, a good thing is whenever I see Madders and his family, they, they mention it probably near enough every time I see him. <laughs> so it's um, it's a lovely little reminder, you know. But the, that's the thing is that the three Leicester players on the end of the wall make it so hard for you to see the ball. Yeah. And then this one. This is one of my favourites, I'm honest. Um, but it was Ed, it was one of Eddie Howe's first games, and obviously he was oh. he was like the manager who gave me my chance in the Premier League. Right. And I always remember him speaking to him after the game and. He wasn't too happy with me, but <laughs> we ask our defenders to do so much work trying to close the shot down, blocks, but at times that makes your job harder. And it's very easy sometimes to maybe take a step rather than trying to pee around. Um, <laughs> That's a good position. I know, I get, I get into some crazy <laughs> positions, don't I? But what I've noticed as well is that your feet are so fast. Mm. You know, you've got you have little beats all the time. You know, not just in that, but Iniaki showed me some footage of you in training as well. And and I hadn't noticed it until he showed me. And I was like, 
Wow. Yeah. Everything, everything is all like millimeters and fine details in goalkeeping. Yep. So if the ball moves a tiny bit, doesn't mean you have to, but you do find yourself moving every now yep. and then because it's just naturally following the ball. So I think if you can minimize that, that movement and it keeps me alert and being able to, to move from a standing push or get a, get a step in. So have you, have you done like footwork all your career? So my upbringing with Fred Barber was doing short dives from cones, a lot of fitness work, a lot of fitness, hard work, and it was always a race. So I think that gave me my sort of speed in goalkeeping. Yeah. Um, cause it's funny, cause it's completely different speed. You ask me to run 100 meters or 60 meters and I'll be so far behind. <laughs> but then if you ask me to get off the floor as quick as I can, yeah, then you... I'll be flying. Yeah. See that, I, I like that because that's, it's behind you a little bit, isn't it? You know, you've got the, the you've got the push from your legs, but also the knowing that the, the power behind the ball, where it, you know it needs to be deflected rather than anything else. Mm. <laughs> Brendan Rodgers. Yeah. Wow. You got a wow from Brendan Rodgers. I know. <laughs> it, to be fair, it, every time we've played against him, he's been re he's been probably one of the nicest. It helps when I have good games against him. Um, but I think he's just actually, actually a really top class yeah, spots, human and spots talent. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Oh. Here we are. Yes. I don't know how this got in. <laughs> watch, watch Jags here. Hello. Look at that. Oh, Thanks, Jags. Jags. <laughs> See, look, look at my reaction. I know. You're, <laughs> Nothing. But you were like that every, near enough every save, no? Yeah. That sort of reaction. Yeah. Yeah, but it was, that's... You know, that's the way. I think, it, I think in that case, I actually think there's no better reaction because yeah. you're probably almost in a little bit of disbelief yourself. But I, do you know what? What's weird is that I didn't, I knew it was a, a good save, but I didn't, no I didn't realise it looked yeah. that good. Like it was in slow motion. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what, I, I, you must find that as well, where, you know, you make a save and then you think, oh, that was all right. Mm. And then you see it on TV and you're like, whoa, that mm. was really good. I was a bit older than you when I made this. I know. Save, though. <laughs> that just proved to everyone that you were still you still had it. <laughs> it was, and that's the thing though. It like shut a lot of people up. Yeah. Yeah. This save, right? This is a, a save now that's in the modern game. Mm -hmm. You know, with your feet. Do you think you ever did that save? That type, that style. No. Would you I, be, you would throw your hands there? No? I would go. Yeah. I'd, I'd be in a different position to you. Yeah. You know, on, only as in like my body weight. My yeah. body would be different. The foot save for me is very similar to a hand save. Sometimes putting your hand there and deflecting it is yeah. better than trying to beat it away or flick it away. Yeah. So a lot of times if you try and move your foot towards the ball is probably when you get, yeah. get in trouble. Yeah. I like this save. This was an important See, save. I think this is one of them ones where we've just spoke about you didn't know realise how good it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite close to me, but he's absolutely rocketed it. And I think about, that was at 2-2, I think. And then about two or three minutes later, we go down the other end and score. Yeah, exactly. But a lot of the lads didn't even know I saved it after the game. <laughs> so they thought he'd just hit the bar. So no that's way. why. I, and you hear every, every young player gets the old hard and low. Mm. Hard and low. But that's probably one of the hardest saves in football. I think Aguero, I remember when Aguero first came to the league. He scored one at Old Trafford, I think high into the roof of the net and it's one of them he was so good at it yeah. even i've seen it you know with the balls that they're so much faster <laughs> yeah i think i could be a striker <laughs> we could show on the thing yeah time. i think so i'm sure <laughs> i like this one because this is this is like you covering the first what you first, what you thought is the first guy going to mm. it and then going across you know because i know that you you like you, you coach try and like cut out the balls yeah. across aren't you that's no, that probably was... why this is the most pleasing one. That was the most pleasing one because of how much work we do on sort of cutbacks yep. and that type of save. This is something which we've worked on a lot in training. And then you watch your footwork you're involved in that. Look, first one and then second one. Yeah, because I'm, I'm there to be able to, hopefully if the nine takes it, and then it's just about getting goal coverage. This is the one. This, right, I want to ask you about this. Because that. That was like wow, yeah, and a bit more wow, because when you I see knew it, at the time that was a good save. But you know when yeah. we talked about Joss, and, yeah. but then you know at the time when you do make good saves. Because that was going out, it was going out to in, mm. 
and you've still managed to get right across there. Yeah. But I want to ask you, right, this one or Madison's? Oh. <laughs> I know which one I'd choose. I choose that one. Do you? Yeah, because because of that. that because of how, much it, how, how it changes. Yeah. And this was big in the game as well. It was, yeah. It was, it was, it was special. It was at the cop, and there. To be fair, they're actually really respectful to me at Liverpool. You mm. get a nice clap off. Yeah, and, you do. Um, that, yeah. Oh, they still the, do that. At That's the start of the half, nice. and then yeah. uh, thirty seconds later, you're getting pelters. But then at the end of the game, you get <laughs> clap. So. Yeah. You know what? I think I go Madison still. Do you? Yeah. Why? I just think I just I just think it, it's a little harder yeah. because he can go either way of a dead ball right. with that wall. Yeah. I think with Mo Salah, he's got that finish in his locker and I kind of anticipate, and the deflection makes it harder. But I don't know. I just I think the Madison, I think the Madison ones. Cool. It's up there, yeah. <laughs> well, mate, it's. It's a fantastic day for, for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a fantastic day for you and your family. There'll be, a, there'll be another one in a year's time, the way, the way that you're playing. I hope, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, it's been an absolute pleasure interviewing you, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> cool. As always. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, and one other thing, and I always say, it's so good to hear the Arsenal fans singing England's number one. He loves us. There's the next he challenge. <laughs>